Hello viewers, welcome to my channel again. In last video we have seen how the pop-up windows are working. So similarly there is a, another feature which is uh, very frequently used but very uh, valuable thing is the sliding screen of the touch, uh, touch panel comfort HMI. Again this is not available for KTP, uh, KTP uh, basic panels. It is only available for unified and comfort panel HMI. So let's get started with the video. So, as you can see, I have already added the PLC uh, into my project and as well as the TP700 Comfort HMI into my project. To reduce the video timing, I have added both of the uh, screens. Also, I have uh, made some uh, random screens like oh, in one screen, it is having system one water tank and in system two, I have added some conveyor screens. So, basically, what does the sliding screen do? by pressing on on the left side right side or the bottom side there will be a screen will be slide into the your main screen and where you can give some kind of option let's do it by uh, directly without any waiting time so first we will try slide in screen left in sliding screens you can see in the uh, pop, below the pop-up screens the sliding screens options is there just click on the sliding screen left what I am going to do is, I am going to put some kind of buttons over there. So right click on the properties, you can reduce the width of the sliding screen. I have reduced to 180 and in uh, sliding screen what I will do is, I will give a button. Okay, I think we have done with our buttons. What I will do is, let's arrange the buttons as per our requirement. And let's give a heading to this screen name called as menu. Okay, we have uh, done with the buttons. Let's give the properties like in system one window. What will happen? Act, it will activate our system one screen. System one screen, it will activate. And in system two, likewise, uh, by giving manually, it will take more time. So press on system, copy the event, press event and paste on the second window just change the name system2 again paste on the another button and give uh, give the screen name is called as system screens and in diagnostic screens press on the diagnostic screens and give the system diagnostic screens instead of system screen let's uh, call it as a called it as user screen okay user screen and in the action you can give the name as user manage user administrator screen okay so i have done this uh, done the, uh, done with our animation part and in the uh, on the heading Let's give the animation or not animation exactly, give the color as green window. Okay. So save it and simulate it and let's see what is happening. You can see there is no sliding screen is available here. Why? We forgot to do one thing on the sliding screen left, right click on the properties and don't forget to enable the window by clicking on, clicking on enable it will enable the sliding screen so that you will get to see the sliding in screen into your home screen and in handle go to the handle hide handle automatically always show the handle and never show handle you will see what is the handle means let's animate first Yeah, 
here you can see there is a handle is showing and automatically it is hiding because in setting what we have done in setting we have tick mark sorry in setting what we have done we have tick mark the hide handle automatically so this is the handle by clicking on uh, this is the handle window just click on the left side and again press you can see the menu window is sliding into the pages and by clicking on system one it is jumping to the system one screen by clicking on system two it is jumping to the window convert to screen and by clicking on the user screen it is jumping to the user administrator screen same by clicking on diagnostic screen it is jumping to the diagnostic screen so this is the slide in uh, window guys so uh, we can change the handle properties also like always show the handle by clicking in always show the handle the handle will always show it will never get uh, it will never get uh, off automatically let's see what is happening so you can see the slide in screen handle is continuously showing even after clicking it is not going so you uh, as per your requirement whatever the types you want you can click on it uh, as well as you can hide the handle forever like never show the handle but the thing is if the handle will not show then how you will get minimize or maximize let's see so you can see now we are unable to see the sliding screen so don't do the uh, don't uh, choose this option uh, al um, always choose the hide handle automatically means whenever you are going to click on the left side of the button then you will get the handle otherwise the handle will be automatically off even though uh, in the screen also by clicking a button and by giving some properties over here also you can see the uh, sliding screen but it is not recommendable actually so likewise in slide in screen uh, left we will add slide in screen right in slide in screen right what is happening again set the layout as per uh, as uh, as usual as slide in left let's say 180 and i will copy the all buttons from the slide in screen left and i will uh, paste it on the right side control a I, I will make control a control c i will copy all the parameters and paste it on the slide in screen right also similarly slide in screen top in slide in screen top also i will write again properties the height should be 160 and i am pasting over here also but here you can see the button should be should not like this so one is system one here system two is here and others are not showing so we will copy manually user screen and diagnostic screen okay and the head uh, heading i will do a little bit different animation now copy and paste it on the bottom side also so now we have added all the four of uh, sliding screens and let's enable all of them So all of our sliding screen is enabled now. Let's simulate it. So now you can see all of the four screens, all of the an animations are available right now. So this is, uh, you can see now, all of the four animations are uh, working perfectly fine 
all of the sliding screens are working so we are going to finish the video or conclude the video over here if you are having any doubts in our video then you can